What's going to be important about the shared delivery plan is also to recognise that there are some activities that will need constant attention. And that's why we've called them continuous improvement priorities. And they really revolve around uh, health inequalities, mental health, uh, clinical leadership and also managing public finances. We do have inherent health inequalities in our system in Sussex right now. There's inequalities in access, there's inequalities in experience and there's inequalities in outcomes and also an inequality in healthy life expectancy. So that's something that we really do need to work on really consistently and that will be, take many years. There's an increasing demand for mental health services but also in the area of learning disabilities and autism as well. And so actually thinking about how we can improve access to those services is an important part of our plan and again we'll need constant and continuous action to really deliver the support that our patients and the public need. Now as far as actually changing services, clinical leadership is going to be critical to this because we need to empower our most experienced clinicians to help to de design the pathways to make improvements both in efficiency but also effectiveness and outcomes for patients. And actually that can only be done by strong clinical leadership throughout the system and that will be a constant feature that we'll keep working on. And then finally of course we do have to manage the money. You know, we can't get away from that. We receive substantial uh, funds from the government and the taxpayer and we need to make sure we're getting best value for money for every pound that we receive. So if we keep working on those four activities, I genuinely believe that will be a really strong foundation to deliver the rest of our delivery plan.